After months of silence from Rockstar, they have finally come out with a trailer for the Cluck and Bell farm raid. That's right, Rockstar finally confirmed that it is real, even though we've known about this for months now, and they've also confirmed a release date, March 7th, so this Thursday. We've got a 30 second trailer to break down, we're gonna break down every single frame, and there's also some new info that I haven't yet covered on the channel. We'll get into that after, including the fact that the finale for this raid might take about one hour. That's gonna be crazy. Anyway, let's get straight into into the trailer and break it down. So first frame here, we can see the new Gauntlet Interceptor. People have been waiting for this for a long time. We thought we were gonna be getting this in the Chop Shop DLC. Rockstar decided to delay it until the Clock and Bell farm raid. So it's coming out this Thursday. It of course is a police car. It's gonna be on Warstock and it's gonna be $5.42 million. The trade price is gonna be just over $4 million and you can unlock that by completing the Clock and Bell farm raid once as a leader. So yeah, you're looking at $4 million for this this thing. It's pretty expensive, but it probably is the coolest cop car in the game, let's be honest. And a little side note on the Gauntlet Interceptor, we actually saw it in the GTA 6 trailer, so this car is also going to be in GTA 6. Kind of cool. Anyway, moving on to the next frame, and oh boy, Jimmy. Jimmy! Come on, man. Last time we caught up with Jimmy was during the Diamond Casino heist where he was working at the arcade. And it looks like, yep, yeah, he's gone to dealing. So I wonder what part he's gonna play in this DLC. You can see the police interceptor behind him. So I'm assuming we're gonna bust Jimmy at some point. We're gonna see. Seems like a perfect segue into introducing Michael into the story down the line. Let's hope for that, but of course, no guarantees. Next frame, we see the opening cutscene. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you've probably seen this whole cutscene already because that's been leaked. But again, this just confirms that you can complete the Clock and Bell farm raid with up to four people. Unfortunately, we still don't have any info on if you're going to be able to do this solo. I would assume so, but until Rockstar confirms that, we don't know. So we're going to have to wait till Thursday, probably. Next frame, we get a look at the inside of a slaughterhouse which is most likely where the Cluck and Bell cartel is operating out of. And yes, that is the actual name that Rockstar's going with for this, I believe, is the Cluck and Bell cartel. And in the very next shot, you can see one of the members of the cartel here. We then get another shot of Vincent. He's looking good in his new uniform, but nothing we can really take away from this shot here. We then get a shot of the train going past the Cluck and Bell farm up in Polito Bay. They're loading some boxes here onto the train. I'm not going to go too in-depth on all of the leaked stuff that we know already. That is a separate video. Link will be below if you haven't seen it. But we do know, spoilers, that you'll be able to sneak into the Cluck and Bell farm inside one of these boxes. This shot here again just confirming where we are on the map. This shows us that we're up at the Cluck and Bell Farms in Polito Bay. You can see the train there as well as the Cluck and Bell Benson which is going to be another purchasable vehicle this Thursday down on the bottom. Speaking of the Cluck and Bell Benson, here's a better shot so it looks like we're going to have to take one out and maybe steal it I would assume. You know, Grand Theft Auto and all. We then get a look at what I believe is going to be the final vehicle coming in this update. This is the Canis Terminus. I'm not too sure if this is going to be launching on day one. I hope so. I hope this is coming out this Thursday. We know it's going to be on Southern San Andreas Super Autos and it's going to be $1.877 million. We then get a shot of the final cutscene where we get paid. I'm sure we're all looking forward to this one. Pretty funny. This is the exact same guy that gives us money after the Cayo Perigo heist. So looks like he's working for a few companies. Then we see an action shot outside the Fleecer Bank on the left side of the map here. We see the Canis Terminus running away from someone in the Gauntlet Interceptor. Both of these cars look awesome, man. I'm buying these day one for sure. Then we get a buzzard shooting at a super yacht and you can see the players inside the super yacht. So yes, it looks like we've got yet another GTA Online mission taking place on a yacht. I don't know what the count's up to now. It's got to be at least five missions on a yacht so far. But hey, the missions are pretty cool. I'm not going to complain about it. Then we have another shot from the final cutscene with Vincent in the Gauntlet Interceptor. So not only can we buy one, but this is actually Vincent's car here. We get a nice shot of the train just ramming through a pickup truck here. It was leaked a while ago that we're going to be able to drive the train. Not sure how in-depth these mechanics are going to be if we actually get to drive it or if it's just like a cutscene or something. So we'll have to wait and see. And then we've got the final scene with the Cluck and Bell farm raid on March 7. It's interesting that Rockstar is choosing for this Cluck and Bell farm raid to be its own DLC. That's really strange considering at the end of the day it is just a drip feed from the Chop Shop DLC. But anyway, not too big of a deal how Rockstar 
Rockstar classifies it, at least we're getting new content. Now, we've actually got a bunch of info to go over that has been leaked from data miners. And first off, we have to say that it's looking like this is not actually going to be a heist. Now, if you watched any of my previous videos, this was my main concern that Rockstar isn't going to classify this as a heist, but they're going to classify it as a contract or something. And we still don't know what Rockstar is technically going to call it. I think it's going to be a contract. But if we actually go into the Rockstar Newswire and use their exact words, it says, help Vincent bust the case wide open in this action-packed new story update. So it looks like they're classifying this as a story update. But then again, we do have to remember back to the Drug Wars DLC, Rockstar also classified that as a story update. And we did get a brand new business in that with the Acid Lab, of course. So it wasn't just a story update. There was other stuff with it. Time will tell on that one, but let's actually get into what the data miners found. So starting off with Spidervice on the GTA forums here, someone asked, just like contact missions, bit disappointing. And Spidervice said, not quite just contact missions. There's an intro, setup missions, and a finale, which has variations depending on one of the setups. Pay will be a lot higher than any contact mission too. Now we did already know that there would be setup missions and a finale. We also know all of the names of those missions and setups already. But then we've got Tez here when he was asked, what is the raid in terms of mission type? Free mode mini heist or like salvage robberies? So this is where it gets interesting. So massive shout out to Tez, of course, as always. He says, basically an OG heist. An introductory mission, four setups. Your playthrough decides your approach for the finale, either aggressive or stealth. Here's the important bit. Payout is 500k for the leader and 50k for associates. Assuming that Rockstar doesn't just adjust the payout upon release. And the cooldown is one hour. But it gets even more interesting because Tez says one of the career progress challenges is to complete the finale in under 45 minutes. So it may take up to an hour to finish when playing casually. Also, you can unlock straps, bandana and cap, which are seemingly career progress rewards. They're tied to the Marabunta Grande gang, one of the three gangs you can steal a getaway vehicle, gear, weapons and armor from during one of the setups. So stealing from that gang may unlock that specific item for you. Okay, a lot to break down there. We already knew about the three gangs. But in terms of the finale length and the payout, we can get a bit of info about this. First off is the payout, 500,000 for the leader and only $50,000 for anyone helping out. This leads me to believe that it will be able to be done solo, I would assume so, because this seems like it's got the exact same mission payout structure as a contract. So this is just like the Dr. Dre contract, basically, as well as all of the auto shop contracts where the leader gets the normal payout and then the associates get like 10% of that. So if I had to guess, and if I had to bet, the structure of this is going to be like a contract. As for the setup missions, like Tez said, we know that they're gonna have an effect on the finale. And it seems like the mission structure is gonna be like the OG heists where, you know, every single setup mission was actually like a specific contact mission. But maybe the most concerning part is the bit in the middle there. One of the career progress challenges is to complete the finale in under 45 minutes. That's crazy. Like if you look at the Diamond Casino heist and the Kayaparico heist, those finales take under 15 minutes if you want to do the elite challenge. And even something like the Dr. Dre contract, the finale for that one is probably a little bit longer than a heist finale, but it's roughly the same length, you know, somewhere between 15 to 25-ish minutes. Having a finale that's going to take 45 minutes and you only gonna get 500k for that keeping in mind that you would have had to do all of the setups beforehand that's strange it's really strange and i feel like there's something we're missing here now in the newswire post from rockstar they didn't really give us any additional info at all so it looks like unless they release another newswire this week it looks like we're just gonna have to wait until thursday and figure it out for ourselves which hey on the bright side it's less than a week away so we can probably wait as always i'll be live streaming this when it comes out so stay tuned to the channel it'll be here on youtube hope you enjoyed the video if you learned something new give it a thumbs up subscribe for more stuff like this if you want to know absolutely everything else we know from the leaks about this heist link will be in the description below to that video stay safe and i'll see you in the next video boys Color money green paper. I've been on my grind since I was in the seventh.